My name's Anthony Allen. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits. The YouTube channel that is all about your video editing hints, tips, and tricks with a little bit of text sprinkled in there and teaching you guys how to edit on Final Cut Pro 10. And here in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Mac OS Catalina operating system alongside of Final Cut Pro 10. And I'm going to talk about something that you can do with the new operating system alongside of Final Cut Pro and it's absolutely amazing definitely worth sticking around because I'm about to talk about that amazing new feature that will absolutely change the way you video edit using Final Cut Pro 10 forever whoa I just said that let's get into it <laughs> So something that comes with the new operating system is Sidecar. And what Sidecar allows you to do when you're using Final Cut Pro is basically use an iPad as an extra extended screen to your Mac device, MacBook or iMac. So basically, if you've got your one screen that you're using as your master system, something that you're using for Final Cut Pro to display Final Cut Pro, you can then use your iPad alongside it, right next to it, with a stylus, which is basically a pen, or using your finger as you would on a normal iPad, like you know, just and you could you could use that to help you alongside your edit. This has been confirmed on the Apple website. Now, for a video editor like me, this brings so many different possibilities and ideas to my head that my head just starts to just... Wow. And remember to stick to the end of this video because I have some bloopers as I do make mistakes as I'm talking to a camera and mistakes happen. So it's worth sticking around to the end so we can have a little bit of a laugh together. So the amount of ideas that come to mind when this was announced is just absolutely insane. So let's explore some of those ideas that I have and maybe you could give me what ideas that you have and how this will affect your workflow when using Sidecar to use your Apple iPad as an extended screen to your current Apple device that you're using to use and edit Final Cut Pro 10. So we all use Final Cut Pro 10 differently. Some of us don't use an, inspe an inspector in a certain shape. You can stretch the, the window for an inspector. Some of us have it long and we don't have the effects panel at the bottom. We change the size of our panels. What I'm getting at here is we all use Final Cut Pro 10 differently so that it suits our style of editing, our pace and so forth. I'm expecting this amazing sort of being able to drag things from one screen to the other with ease using just a mouse or your trackpad. Another thing that I think would be amazing is that if the color grading window could be solely displayed on the iPad so that it doesn't populate on my main screen. That'd be really cool if I could take, for example, an inspector over to the iPad so that I could basically have a preview window on my main screen and a color grading inspector window on the iPad. That would be amazing. If you could take various windows away from Final Cut Pro 10 and poly on a separate screen so that our main screen can be populated with just, a, you know, for example, a display window and your timeline, that would be like, this basically gives us new age generation editors something that we can, you know, customize even even further to you know populate a project the way we like so that our feeling and emotion uh, of how we're editing can be easily transferred to an edit because then you're seeing uh, uh, your results of your work on the screen rather than the results and the edits that you're making on the same screen which would be absolutely amazing. I mean, like for, for an editor like me, that could be something that I would absolutely enjoy. But for other editors, that might not be progressive. That might be a step backwards. But the possibilities are amazing. Uh, that There's so much to go by. There's so many possibilities with this. So I want to see what you guys think. 
If you're watching this video here and now, comment down below and let me know what you would like to see from this new Catalina operating system application known as Sidecar alongside Final Cut Pro 10. What do you think you can do or what do you hope you can do with this Sidecar when you're using it with Final Cut Pro so you've got an extended screen? What would you like to see? How would you like to use the application? What is your mindset on the matter? Do you care? Is an extended screen something you've always wanted? Or is it, you know, something that was, eh, who cares? You know, does, does it matter to you? I know for those of you in the tech community, this would be really interesting as customizing your operating system or your machine um, is something that has been a thorn in the side for some of those that use Mac as you have transferred from Windows and customization of a machine has always been something that has encouraged you to use a, a, a piece of tech, something that some of you can't do without. And that might be something, you know, just this one extra extended screen could be something that could sway you over to the new generation, to the moving forward generation of Mac. One thing that I've always thought that would come uh, before this was uh, touchscreen computers. So I always thought, I think I think we did actually have that. Like at one point we did have touchscreen touch screen computers. The reason why I noticed, because I remember using one in uh, HMV and it was a long time ago and it was really laggy, but there were touchscreen computers at one point, I'm pretty sure, maybe it's been recalled or, or, or maybe it was a dream. I don't know. <laughs> May, might be something that I'll look into, but I think that is basically the direction in which Apple will be moving towards. Touchscreen computers have been a long time coming now. We've had touchscreen phones for quite a long time. We've also got iPads. So I think the next step, and this is the direction that Apple is slowly sort of weaning us towards, are touchscreen computers, touchscreen machines. Um, a touchscreen Macintosh, let's call it, an iMac. I think that's the next direction of where we could potentially move towards. And, and you know, this has all come from just this one announcement of Sidecar, which will allow you to use your iPad as an extra extended screen to your Apple device that you're already using while using Final Cut Pro as well. Can you use this outside of Final Cut Pro? I haven't looked into that. Maybe you can have a look after this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video as well. Hopefully it's provided a little bit of context as to um, what's going on with the Mac OS Catalina system. I'd like to hear your opinions or what you found out down in the comments section below. At the end of the day, this is a community channel and I also teach you guys how to video edit on Final Cut Pro 10. And I'd like to see you in those videos as well. I upload daily, guys. The blooper reel is just about around the corner now because I'm wrapping up the video, but we're not done yet. That's the reason why you should stick around. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one and comment down below with your thoughts on this new application and the new Mac OS operating system that is coming soon. Thank you for watching Anthony Allen Edits and let's roll those blooper reels. So before we leave, let's have a look at some of the bloopers and mistakes that I've made while recording this video. And I think this form of, of uh, customize. So we all know that we use. I think this form of personalization will be kept throughout the new Catalina operating system. I don't think that we'll step, we'll step backwards. We'll take a step backwards. I think we'll be going forwards. So therefore I can see uh, I can have uh, uh, maximize the size of